Mm -hmm. Now, there was another person in his town at the time who was a psychic named Lana somebody or other who was Celtic. And she did, instantaneously, she did not like me. And that's fine. She tried to form a relationship with Duncan, a friendship, and Duncan talked to her a couple of times and said, don't tell me, I know, you're going to stay away from me. He said, you're right. She was a watcher. Okay, explain that to us. Watchers are people who are definitely associated with Project Talent and the powers that be, who are sent in to watch people like Duncan and probably me. There's another gentleman in this town who is, quote, a real estate agent, unquote, whom I have never met. And what's more, I don't want to meet him. John told me that his first name is Will. He said he is another watcher. you got to be careful with him. So it's interesting that as, we, as more of us become awake, more and more memories are put together that absolutely coincide, and they can't be... Uh, they can't be made up memories. And right. uh, now, explain to us why you say they cannot be made up memories. When someone says, "I remember this," and then you run, you're in some oddball stage of the world, and someone says, "Man, Dave, where have you been? I haven't seen you in twenty years." And I have no recollection of that person even knowing me that I existed, let alone know me in a foreign country. Mm -hmm. And then as you walk around, other people say, hi, Dunk, hi, Dave, where you guys been? We haven't seen you in a long time. Now, could they have been planted there? Yeah, but from the looks of them, they had lived there for all their lives. Makes you wonder. makes you wonder. Well, it does. It does indeed. All right, now, what kind of missions, from from your perspective, from your experience with the super soldiers, what sort of missions were carried out? You don't have to give us specifics about specific missions, but just give us an idea. What do they do? Assassinations, kidnapping, retrieval of people, uh, who were trying to escape to another country, uh, political assassinations, warnings, threats, gathering information on different uh, people and projects, and whatever they sent me out to do. Mm -hmm. Well, you know... Um as far as, uh, for instance, with the CIA, and I know the Super Soldier Program does not operate directly under the CIA, or at least that's what I understand. I laugh. But with the CIA, you know, they say that you know we don't do assassinations. Uh, that's not our. That's not our uh, uh, bag. We 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 do not uh, assassinate foreign leaders, etc. But what you're telling us is that even though that. they don't, there is someone who does. Let me answer that with this question. Do you trust your government and everything they say? Well, of course. They have an American flag, right? I don't believe them. I said that tongue-in-cheek. I know. <laughs> I, let, me, let me say this. For the record... And and I would say this off the record. There are people within our government, and there are parts of our government, that I do trust and that I have a great deal of respect for. And I, and I think they're, they're just some of the finest people in the country. There are people within our government, and it's a massive thing, our government. There are people within it. 
and uh, parts of it that I think are evil and uh, that should not be and should never have been part of our government. And oh, I um, not agree with you more. But I, I, I don't paint the government with a broad brush and say that it's all evil and, and should be done away with. And uh, I'm, I'm not there at all. Uh, I think there are some absolutely wonderful, fantastic people uh, that love the Constitution and, and love our country and really are doing what they're doing because of that, uh, that are working in various parts of the government. Uh, but there's some bad apples, and it seems these days that the number of bad apples is, is kind of increasing. Exponentially, in my opinion. All right. Now, um, and by the way, let me point this out. Remember the TV series X-Files? Yes. In that TV series, we got to see, I know it was fiction, but we got to see portrayed before our eyes exactly what I was just talking about, where you have Fox Mulder really going after the information the American people have a right to know. You have Scully that was assigned to watch him and uh, she she was sort of his keeper, and to report back on everything he was uncovering. And then you have other people within the government, and it sort of looked like maybe they were part of the FBI, and maybe maybe they weren't, like the guy that smoked the cigarettes. The Marlboro uh, Man. The Marlboro Man. Um, and he was a real enemy of the American people. Now, he was a bad guy, but once in a while, he would do something good for Mulder, but he was essentially a bad guy inside the government. You know, even though that was fiction, I think it kind of accurately portrays the real state of affairs inside the government, that there's some that are great, good, wonderful people, and some that are kind of Marlboro men. We have to step away for a break. We'll be back right after this. Welcome back. We're talking with Dave Corso. And um, Dave, um, when we went to break, I was I was just wrapping up saying, um, yeah, there are parts of, of our government and, and certain people in our government that uh, I do trust, that I think are crusaders for what's right, and uh, they, they have integrity and they have backbone. Uh, but they seem to be in the minority right now, um, and, and uh, there are great, great, great numbers of folks that seem to be spineless, uh, lack integrity, and uh, don't have even a passing familiarity with the Constitution. But uh, that's just my opinion. Uh, but yeah, I, you know, I can't say when you say, do you trust your government? I, I cannot answer no. Uh, we'd have to say which part, uh, as to do I trust what they say. Um, but, but having said that, those are the parts that are running programs like Project Talent and that ran stuff like, uh, MK Ultra, which by the way, was determined to be an illegal CIA operation. Um, and uh, some people may remember the, uh, I think it was the uh, church committee, Frank Church, Senator Frank Church ran the committee that uh, investigated this. And uh, they had a, a devil of a time investigating it because the director of the CIA in 1973 ordered all of the documents related to MK Ultra to be destroyed and uh, so they had to rely on witness testimony i bring that up because when people say well that's just dave corso 
and he's just saying what he's saying. He's got no proof of this or that. Or that.